Hello, it's Thursday and you're watching ITV News Meridian. Tonight's headlines in the South. Mark McQuillan joins me now. Mark, this story focuses, well, it has to be said, one of the biggest uh, sporting stars of the summer. Yes, Ben Stokes has been England's cricket hero in recent weeks, inspiring the country to World Cup glory and playing one of the best innings of all time to help them draw the Ashes series with Australia. So 2-0 to Bournemouth at half-time against Southampton. You can see the second half live over on Sky Sports Premier League and we're back at 11.20 with the highlights from St Mary's. In other news, a German student who was left with life-threatening injuries after being attacked in Canterbury has undergone his first major operation towards recovery. Daniel Ezzedine, who's 17, was attacked on Whitefriars Street in June. Prince Harry has accused the British tabloid media of carrying out a ruthless campaign against his wife. His comments come after it was announced Meghan is suing the Mail on Sunday newspaper for publishing a letter she wrote to her father. Because Coventry fan Mark McQuillan, Pompey are flying! They are. First win of the season for them. Fred, Coventry got theirs at the weekend, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're into the second round of the League Cup as well, which is very good news for them. We'll show you the goals from their win over Birmingham and round up the rest of the sport. Mark McQuillan is next to the Bomber Command Memorial in London's Green Park. Mark, what more do we know at this stage? Well, the memorial behind me usually stands poignant, pristine and proud. One which recognises the more than... 50,000 airmen who lost their lives during World War II from Bomber Command. But as you can see today, it has been cordoned off after being targeted by vandals over the weekend. Good afternoon. These are your headlines from Five News. I'm Mark McQuillan. The Prime Minister has confirmed he'll be sending what he's called constructive and reasonable proposals to Brussels today to break the Brexit deadlock. Let's catch up with all the support now with Mark. Yeah, thanks, Gillian. We start with uh, cricket and England were let down by some poor fielding as they lost the second 2020 of their five-match series in New Zealand. 